Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. I hope y'all are having a beautiful morning. Um, give everyone a chance to get on this live. And of course, this morning, we, I'm going to pull this up so I can see everybody. This morning, we are going to be talking about orgasm number two, which is some call it a deep orgasm. Some call it... Um, a cervical orgasm some call it um, a vaginal orgasm none of the terms are incorrect none of them are incorrect okay but um we're going to talk about that particular orgasm what makes it different from the clitoral orgasm um and basically what positions that you could get in to reach it because it is like literally um when you're touching the cervix, that means you have to go deep, 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 deep into the vagina in order to experience it. So again, you know, oh, look like y'all was ready this morning. <laughs> y'all on here. You know, sometimes I have to wait on everybody to come, but um, y'all on here this morning, you're going to see that I have all of these toys and I have them for a reason. Um, the only way this orgasm can be reached is through penetration. Okay. So, uh, let's go over a few um, little notes from yesterday. Yesterday, we found out that an orgasm is strictly about pleasure, okay? Um, and there are 12 different types of orgasms. If you missed the live on yesterday, we talked about the clitoral orgasm, which is the most common, most popular orgasm, okay? Um, the next one is that we're going to talk about, not the most popular, okay? But the next orgasm that we're going to talk about today is the deep orgasm. I just like to call it the deep orgasm because that's how you got to go deep in order to get it. You ever having sex with a man and he just get the digging off up in that pussy and you just like, shit. And you like, like uh, Kevin Gates, dig, dig. Dig like you telling them to dig like you on your back and you cock open you bust wide open so he can get up in there as deep as possible and then you do some shit like you pushing out like you giving birth so that that pussy can just so that cervix can really open up so that he can really 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 get down up in there and then it's a lot of pressure when he reached a certain point it's just like pressure pressure you could just feel the pressure right this does not re require a lot of girth but this requires length he's gonna at least have to be about six inches or more in order for you to reach this type of orgasm okay so i see that um it's a good bit of y'all on here so we gonna go on here and get off into it all right we are gonna get off into it and of course, you're going to see me constantly going back to my notes, okay? So, the cervix is the deep center of the vagina, the pussy, the cat, whatever you want to call it. It's the deep center part of it, okay? That means you got to go deep. This is like when we birth and children and all of this kind of stuff. This is that area when your doctor is doing your path. This is the area they are having to go all the way to your cervix in order for you to achieve this type of orgasm. Now, what makes this deep orgasm different than the clitoral orgasm is clitoral orgasms happen really, really quick. If you stimulate the clit enough, then you're going to get the orgasm like right away. I know I can get myself to a clitoral orgasm in about 30 seconds sometimes. I damn sure know I could, I could reach a clitoral orgasm in less than a minute. 
Because sometimes as soon as I get up on a dick and I get to doing what I'm doing, I'm I'm I, I'm coming quick because my clitoris is more all the time, most of the time. The way it's made, it's exposed. So I'm constantly getting stimulation to it. Well, this is a little different with the cervical or deep orgasm. They have to actually reach that moment and they touch it and they touch it over and over and over and over again. And what happens is this is an orgasm that you have to build to get it. Meaning that they don't just touch it a few times and they get it. They have to keep hitting that spot over and over and over again. Okay? This is a full body orgasm. Like when you get this cervical orgasm, a lot of times you're going to feel this. It's like a vibration all over your body. It's like, um, of course, you experience your heart getting flushed, you know, your heart beating fast and all of this kind of stuff. But it's like it literally takes your mind. It's like a wave. I always try to explain this like almost riding a roller coaster. It's like a up and down type of orgasm that goes on for a period of time. Sometimes this orgasm will last for hours. And when I say hours, I'm gonna let you, uh, cause I see y'all posted in here all the time, but a lot of times y'all don't know what you're experiencing. You finish having sex, but your cervix is still shaking. Like you literally sit down and you can feel your body, your cervix shaking in the inside. Your body is still having an orgasm. It's still trying to come down from that plateau. It's still trying to regulate itself. And a lot of times you be feeling like, oh goodness, it feel like this nigga's still inside of me. Feel like I still feel that dick in me. I know what you're experiencing because I experienced the same thing. I I could have been, I could have had sex hours ago and I'm up in here working and it's just like, I still feel Mr. Park inside of me. And I just say to myself, this don't make no damn sense. That's how the, that's how you know you had a cervical orgasm. Because your body is still trying to calm down afterwards. And sometimes it can take it hours to calm down. A cervical orgasm is what we like to call a tantra or a full body orgasm. Okay? Um... It's more of an increase in pleasure all over the body versus a climax feeling, like a quick feeling that you get with the clitoral orgasm. This is literally like pleasure throughout the body, okay? I'm just going through my notes. Okay. So a lot of times when they um, penetrate you and you are about to start um, building to that cervical orgasm, you ever have them touch that spot and then you jump? It's not necessarily a pain, but it's more so a feeling of, I didn't know you was about to touch that area. And sometimes it could be a feeling of a little discomfort, right? But if you relax, like when I say relax, I mean like really just relax and do a lot of deep breathing and just kind of go with the flow of it and let your body just relax and open up and let him actually get up in there and work that area, baby, you will experience a, the most amazing orgasm. Seriously, you will experience the most amazing orgasm. Now, there are some products that you can use to actually help you to relax that area. The Hemptations Lubricant is the one with the CBD in it. It's designed to help all of that area relax in the inside. Whereas the orgasmics is to arouse the clitoris, the hemptations is to relax. Those are two totally different feelings. It's the difference to arouse. Arouse means to heighten. It means to heighten. The hemptation is designed to relax, which means that it calms that area so that the cervix can open up and be able to receive him freely, okay? So when you purchase some products, you have to understand what you're purchasing them for. Don't get orgasmics and put it all over the inside of you because that does not relax you, that arouses you, okay? If you're looking to relax, I would recommend Hemptations and I would recommend Climax High. Both of those products have CBD oil. It has hemp oil in them, which is CBD. 
It has that in it and it's specifically designed to relax the vaginal canal. Okay? Now, if you don't have a man and you want to experience this type of orgasm, the way that you can experience this type of orgasm is, of course, with my friends. And I got the big ones. Everything that I got, this, this is 7 inches, 8.5, 9 inches, 9 inch homegrown. Now, what's the difference between them, the materials? Okay. You have some of them that are made with bio skin, which are going to be your more expensive toys. These toys actually warm to the touch of your body. So that means when these toys are being penetrated, that means that they warm up to your body. They don't feel like plastic. It actually feel like real skin, warm skin inside of you. Okay? So they change with your temperature. Whereas the Dr. Skin ones, they're a little cheaper, but they don't do that. Okay? They don't do that. Some of the best positions where you can um, reach the cervix, um, doggy style, not the doggy style when you um, have your butt tilted up and your face is down. No. I'm talking about the doggy style where you are literally up on all fours and your head is up and your, your backside is, is even with your head. Meaning that you up on all fours. I'm not talking about the position where you put the arch in your back. Because see, when you put the arch in your back, you're positioning yourself for him to stimulate your G-spot. And we'll talk about that orgasm later on. We're not talking about that particular orgasm. We're talking about the deep orgasm, the, cerv the cervical orgasm. In order for him to reach that, you have to be on all fours and you have to be perfectly aligned with him. So that when he thrusts, he's going straight for the cervix. Not when he thrusts, he's going down to the G-spot. That's not what you want. You want him to thrust and go straight. Okay? Do we have any questions? Any questions? I don't see any questions. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm holding up a little second just so I can answer questions at this time. Okay, some things that you may see when you experience this type of orgasm, um, when you go to pee after sex, you may see a few traces of blood. That's normal. That's normal because he's going into your cervix. So sometimes a little spotting is normal. If you're seeing a whole lot of bleeding, that's not normal. Okay, but a little spotting from time to time, that is normal when you're getting this particular orgasm. Another position that will help you to get this orgasm is the missionary position. A lot of people think missionary is boring. Missionary, as I have become older and I'm experiencing this, uh, this tantric type of sex, it's a, it's a more mental, it's like deep, it's passionate. Th this type of sex is not a fuck, y'all. This is not when somebody fucking you. This is some like deep, love making type of sex to be able to get deep see when you fucking and he he hitting like this see you tensed up so he not able to, he, he just hitting but you tensed up okay when you are getting this tantric type experiences these are slow deep thrusts and they literally take your mind like it's like your body go through a wave seriously your eyes close and it's like your body is riding a wave and a lot of times you find yourself pushing that pussy back because you he getting so deep and you just want him to get deeper because you feeling this shit, okay? So this ain't no fuck type of uh, sex that you having. This is some serious, tantric, love-making, literally taking your soul with him type of sex, okay? Um, I, I always tell people that because when they come into the parties and women say that well, missionary is my favorite position. A lot of times they thinking that a, a man on top of them and they just doing doing her like Mr. was doing silly on the color purple. No, that's not what she experienced. And the reason she's saying missionary is her favorite position is because she's experiencing this cervical, tantric, 
uh, experience. Like it's a it's a, a whole nother level of orgasm. This woman is receiving a full body orgasm. So that's why she's able to say that this position is my favorite one. So don't always think that missionary is boring because missionary is always not boring when it's done correctly. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure I'm going over everything that's in my notes, everything that's in my notes. Okay, the last thing that I want to tell you about the cervical orgasm, if you start crying in the middle of the orgasm, it's not uncommon. A lot of times women cry during this orgasm because this is a mental or like it when i say it it's like it literally it's overwhelming the pleasure from it is overwhelming and a lot of times women cry because they just don't know what else to do it's like another emotion it's like you can you can scream you can holler you can do all of that but sometimes the emotion is so intense that you can't do nothing but cry and you'll scare the fuck out of somebody because you just laying up there sobbing and crying. And it's just like, <laughs> where the fuck this come from? Where the fuck the tears come from? Because you're so overwhelmed with emotion from this particular type of orgasm. Okay? So if you so happen to cry, do not get alarmed. Do not get scared. You know, if your partner asks you what the hell was going on, you just let them know, like, I was just overwhelmed with emotion. It was a beautiful experience. It was beautiful. And thank you for it. Thank you for that experience. Tell him thank you because a lot of women sometimes go to their grave never experiencing that type of orgasm. Okay? So, again, I have talked about the products that you would use. I would recommend Climax High and I would recommend Hemptations because they're relaxers and cervix. He's going to need at least six inches of dick in order for you to achieve this. Okay? You're going to have to relax. And then the last thing is uh, the positions the most to get to this uh, position, to get to this position, I'm sorry. The positions to get to this orgasm, the position is missionary and doggy style. But when you do doggy style, you want to make sure that you're perfectly aligned with him. The last thing is if you don't have a dick that long, then come and get your dildo or get an extension for him. Get an extension. You know what? I'm going to go get an extension right fast so that I can show you what an extension looks like in the inside. If he's short, don't worry about it. If he is short, don't worry about it. We can always add more length. Okay. Uh... Okay, so the way they got this set up is I can't even open it up without the customer knowing it. But this is what I want you to see. You see that? It has a hole. That's where his dick going to go. His dick is going to enter in through that hole. And basically, he going to add. See, all this is dick right here. But all of this is the extension. This is the added length. Okay? So, it's hard. It, it's actually hard like a dick. So, his dick going to go inside. And then he, this extension is adding an additional two inches to his dick. So if he is a five inch, you can turn him into a seven inch. If he is, a, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. If he's three inches, he probably, this is going to be too big for him. So in order to get this extension, he's going to need to be at least four inches. So if he's a four inch, this will turn him into a six inch. If he's a six inch, this will turn him into an eight inch. So this is what the extension looks like. Okay, so he just wraps this around him. And then when he puts it on, he slides this up under his nuts to keep it from sliding off the him. So if you never saw a dick extension, that's what one, that's what they look like. And, and please don't think that we don't sell them because we do. And some of y'all be fucked with dick extensions and don't even know it. Because they'll put a dick extension on it, then put a condom on, condom on top of it, and you will never know. And they got all kind of ridges and shit in the inside of it. And guess what? He come inside the dick extension. But you getting what you need, and he getting what he needs, so it don't even matter. Let's see. I'm still trying to make sure that I'm opening up for um, questions, questions, comments, concerns. Talk to me. Okay, so I have been um, 
seeing on the regular Facebook timeline where some people are disgruntled from being removed from the group. If you so happen to get removed from the group, it's because you broke a rule. The rules have been posted. We've asked everybody to follow the rules. Don't take things that people are saying out of the group and put it a screenshot it all over your page. Everybody know that the, it came from the sex talk with Sharonda group. They know where it comes from. You don't think they send that shit to my inbox? My inbox is flooded with shit from this group. You know, not with people taking information, but it's always something concerning this group. Whether it's, you know, somebody in here and they handicap sister in the group. And they feel like she ain't really mentally stable to be up in here. Okay, well, she grown. I deal with sex and disability all the time. I'm not going to take her out the group because she ain't wrapped too tight. Like, a lot of y'all bitches ain't wrapped tight either, and y'all still here. So I'm not taking her out the group because she's slow. As long as she can maintain herself in here and she can engage and she can learn, then she's more than welcome to be up in here if she's over 18 years old. I'm not taking nobody out the group because it's, it's your mama. I'm not taking nobody out the group because it's your, um, your new husband's ex-wife. No, I'm not doing it. Y'all need to get on here. Y'all got to learn how to block these people. If, they, if they're a problem in your regular life, that's what the block button for. You block them off of your Facebook. You don't want to see them. I want to see them. I ain't got no issues with them. If you're on here and you're commenting and you... And you Kim, yeah, we're going to talk about if they ain't comfortable with using an extension. We're going to talk about that, okay? I'll talk about that before um, before I end this live. But another thing is, um, you know, if you on here comment and a woman talking about she lick ass and you going to comment some, well, don't, be, don't, um, don't say nothing when you get shit in your mouth. Well, what's the difference in her licking her man ass and a man licking your ass? The same way you know how to clean your ass, you don't think he know how to clean his? That's negative talk. I don't want that in here. So if I'm, if I see on the post, well, when people come set, putting up what they putting and you going your ass on there and putting all kind of negative shit on now, I'm removing you. You know why? Because you ain't had to even comment on it. You could have kept it pushing. And when it commented on the picture with all the fucking rose petals on the bed, if that's where you had in your sex life, if that's the shit you enjoy, the romantic type of shit, then that's where you go hang out at on them posts. But if you over here with motherfuckers spitting in each other's mouth and licking on their ass and pissing on each other and all kind of fuck shit like that, and that ain't what you into, we don't give a fuck that you ain't into it. You go over there where the rose petals at, okay? You go over there where the fucking bubble bath at. You go over there where the massage lotion at. That's where you hang out at. Them the posts that you hang out on. Don't come over here where we on some old hardcore shit, okay? Because this group is for everybody. And it's a non-judging zone. And if you don't do it, that's fine with me. If you don't lick knees, that's fine with me too. We will find something on here that you're into. But what you will not do is discourage other people from trying something new. Okay? I have to make that clear. If you're on here and I see that you're doing that, I'm just going to remove you. I'm not giving no explanations. If you if, if you woke up and you see you ain't in the group no more, then you just say, you know what? I fucked up somewhere along the line and call it a day. Keep it pushing. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so Kim, you said some men may not be comfortable with wearing an extension. We cannot control how we made, okay? Nobody has control over how they're made. A lot of men are not going to do like us as women and go buy titties and buy ass and buy hips and all of that kind of shit. Most men ain't built like that. But if you are an honest person in your relationship and you tell him, look, baby, I'm trying to experience this deep orgasm that Sharonda was talking about. And I know that you probably about five or six inches, but in order for me to achieve this orgasm, we're going to have to go and get you an extension to add some more inches to what you got so that I can achieve this orgasm because I really want to see what that feel like. If he is not open to it, cool. He don't have to be open to it. But let him know. Well, you don't have to wear it. Let's go to the store and let me go buy one of these eight, nine inch dildos so that you can shove that shit up in my pussy and I can experience this orgasm. Because I really wanted to experience it with you on top of me. But I'm okay if you don't want to wear the extension. If you don't want to wear the extension, I'm perfectly fine with that. But let's go get a toy to be able to reach that spot so that I can experience this orgasm. See, when you're talking to a person about sex, you got to be grown. 
You cannot be childish. You cannot be sneaking and hiding about your feelings. Y'all constantly talking about y'all love the relationship that me and my husband have. We have some real adult conversations. How I know what this extension feel like? Because I had him to put a fat boy on before. It was a little bit more than I could handle with him and that. But guess what? I experienced some shit that I ain't never experienced before and it let me know one thing. It was a little bit too much for me to handle. Because you can't be greedy. And you know what? It made me grateful for what he blessed, what he, what God blessed my husband with. It made me grateful for that. But I wanted to experience that fat boy, so he put that extension over his, and, and I felt like I was getting fucked with a damn baby on, cause they had my pussy so so pulled. It, it was so much tension on my pussy, and I wasn't used to it. But I wanted to see what it felt like, and he made that shit happen for me. It wasn't that he needed it; it was because I wanted it. It's the difference. It wasn't because he needed an extension, because he didn't need an extension. It was because I wanted to experience something different. And he was willing to try it with me. All right. I'm just on here. Let's see. The extension. This particular extension is $69. This one is uh, one of the... Um, one of the flesh ones with the, the ball strap on it. So it's a lifelike skin, meaning that it, it feels realistic. Okay. I just want to make sure that we all on the same page. So when it comes down to trying different stuff with sex, it ain't nothing for you to be ashamed about. You should be able to be open enough in your relationship to tell your, the person that you with, baby, I'm at a point in my life where I want to experience all type of stuff. Like, I'm not 17, 18, 19 years old. You're dealing with a grown woman now. I want to experience some shit. I want to get on the elevator and ride that bitch sucking your dick. I want to do some different shit. I want to create some memories. I want us to get old and look back and be like, we did all this shit. We experienced all this shit. For real. You late, Jasmine? If you ever late for the lives, always go to the announcements. They will be posted in the announcements. With that being said, we have done our time here today. Make sure you go and check out the other one because, again, today we are talking about orgasm number two, which is the deep orgasm, which means that they're going to have to have a little length to get them, okay? Um, again, y'all, this group is created for you all to learn. I get up, I, I come to work one hour early every day. How many of y'all go to, first of all, let me just ask you this thing. How many of y'all go to y'all job one hour early just to make sure that everybody get educated? Please let me know how many of y'all go to y'all job one hour early to make sure that people get educated. I come to my job one hour early because we open at 11. I come one hour early to make sure that you get this knowledge because it's hard for me to go in depth with these lives during my regular business hours because I have customers coming in and I don't like having to keep stopping. You know, it, it throws me off my pivot when I have to keep stopping. So what I'm saying is understand that sacrifices are being made to get you this knowledge. And I don't mind. I don't mind at all because I love sexual health and wellness just that much. I just sent over my business spotlight to Gary Chambers so that he can um, do the business spotlight. But in return, I actually, I mean, I've sent an email to invite him on Sex Talk with Sharonda so that um, so that he could talk to us about some different things that he have in mind that can directly affect us as women when it comes down to all of this legislation being passed. So, um, what you say, lies? <laughs> Lies, you ain't going, you five, you you coming, wait, what you say? Five, you coming five minutes early and you running in? I understand. I've been there, done that. But I'm just letting you all know that I come one hour early just to go live every day at 10 o'clock so that I can get y'all this information. I really try to keep these lives at 30 minutes. Yesterday I went way over, but um, it was a lot of information that we had to cover because not only did we have to learn about the clitoris, but we had to uh, learn about the clitoral orgasm. So it was almost like two lessons in one. Um, I didn't really want to break that up. But that concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda.
You trying to get that dick in here? <laughs> okay. That concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. Y'all enjoy y'all day. I'm about to finish drinking my coffee. As you can see, I don't even have no makeup or nothing on today. I got to, um, stay tuned. Um, because... I'll be posting some pictures later on. I'll be working with Body Art Diva later on, later on today. She's going to actually be doing a live painting. So I'll be nude and she's going to be painting me. I don't know what she's going to be painting on me. But um, I'm looking forward to it. So my husband will be here. Um, what I want to call it. Recapping everything. Taking pictures. Video. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a promo video for it. But y'all be blessed. Enjoy the rest of y'all day.